Folks at home, we're back here in Bama on a new body of water. We're gonna be breaking down some spring techniques, but first, whoever built this place, my hat's off to them. Check this out. We have a bar out here on the water, and look who it is, Bartender Liz. Hello. Been a little while since she's been in our videos, but as you all know, we had a baby a couple years ago. She's just turning two years old. Hopefully, we'll get her out here on the water with us. Yeah. But we'll enjoy this place later tonight because it is time to get to fishing. So we just got the boat launched. We're gonna bring you guys along as we try to break down a spring pattern by, and I'm thinking all your typical baits like square bills, spinner baits, chatter baits, that sort of thing. But my goodness, this is one froggy looking tree right here. I can tell you, I'm gonna have to tie a topwater frog on for that guy. Oh, there he is. Got him. I just told Liz this is exactly why you tie a frog on because of that tree right there. Definitely no giant, but that's the way to start out the day for me on a frog. Bite, got Terminator popping frog, hot mud camo, right in the top lip. Solid way to start the day. And that, my friends, is froggy. How cool is that for large mouth bass eating a frog. There's a cool little deal here. We got a little waterfall pumping fresh cold water in and then you got this nice little lay down. How could there not be a bass on it? Got him. Here he is. Yeah. Blow up right there. Gotta love that. It's a good fish too. Oh, biggest fish of the day on the frog. Stay on there, baby. Man. Talking about just blowing up on it for a fish that big to come up out of the water. One more pass and she'll be ready. That's what I'm talking about. Frogging early spring giants. Man, I love it. Terminator frog getting it done again. That's why you throw a frog all year long, folks. Big beauties like that. All right, that one was definitely up on a bed, so I'm gonna get her back in the water. Mm. I thought she's gonna jump again. <laughs> Look at her. She is gonna jump. She said my mouth hurts. All right, folks. Incredible day of fishing. Definitely not a lot of numbers. The fishing bite was a little bit tough, but the ones we caught were huge. We're gonna go ahead and end this afternoon bite with some aerator bass, aerial style. Shout out to Liz, the camera gal, <laughs> on the good camera, getting these acrobatic shots.
back out here with the frog bite. Daylight, getting it done. Liz hooked up on the frog bite. I'd be really surprised if this was a big one. I was gonna say, he didn't look like a giant. But hey, she got her first frog bite. Gotta start somewhere, right? Got him up good. Got him. Here we go. Got him, another big one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Liz. Oh my gosh, this is a giant bass right here. The frog bite, nothing better in the world. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, circle around one more time and I'll get you. Yes, sir. What a giant. <laughs> On the frog. Man, my heart's pounding. That is a dang beast. <laughs> Check that out. Man, I love it. Guys, we figured the pattern out. Backs of coves, topwater frogs, by any piece of wood. You can see right there that long piece of wood just landed a dang giant. Man. That is, that's an eight pounder. Alrighty. 8.28, 8. unbelievable fish. Giant Bama bass. On, no better way to catch it than on a frog. So now we're gonna let this beauty go. All right, Liz, definitely your turn yes. to get in on some of this action. Me one. So here's what we're gonna do. You see this camera she's holding? We're gonna see if we can get zoomed in on a big top water blow up with that camera because the GoPros, they just don't do it justice. These fish are literally, that fish blew up on it right there. And I know you just can't see it as good with the GoPro. So we're about to get zoomed in while we got a little bit of daylight and see if we can make one of those old time top water blow up bids. Folks, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna put links down in the description for all the baits we used. You can pick them up at our tackle shop, BamaFrogs.com, but this guy right here definitely had the magic touch. All right, Liz, I enjoyed it. Any final words? Yeah.